two and a half years after COVID-19 shut down the country, it's still in the front of all of our lives. It's going to be here with us for the long term, like flu is with us for the long term. Dr. James McDevitt is the Dean of Clinical Affairs at Baylor College of Medicine. He believes COVID is moving into a new stage and may already be there. The case rate numbers are incredibly unreliable now. With at-home tests not being reported, he's looking at wastewater testing and hospitalizations as a gauge of spread. And both have risen, but lately leveled off. We really haven't seen the death rate increase, and we haven't seen hospitalizations increase to the same extent. He says 99% of ICU COVID patients are unvaccinated. Treatments like Paxlovid are effective and widely available, but the disease likely isn't going away. But I think for the foreseeable future, we're going to be chasing it to a degree. That doesn't mean it has to dominate life, though. Flu kills between 20 to 80,000 people a year. McDevitt expects COVID to settle in around 100,000 a year. It's going to be a significant public health problem for, for some time to come. And we, and we need to still think about the most vulnerable in our population and help to protect them. For the first time since the first COVID case, a school year begins with every student and teacher able to be vaccinated. The TEA guidance is students with symptoms must wait at least five days since they started and be fever free. Students positive without symptoms must wait five days since the positive test. So individual responsibility is going to be increasingly important. The current variant is more contagious and less severe, but there's no promise that won't change in the future. Two and a half years later, COVID still dictates life, but before long, it'll become just another part of it. For sort of the rank and file people, get vaccinated, be careful. If you get sick, don't expose other people. In Dallas, I'm William Joy.